Children's soccer is not what most people think it is. The main point of practice is to provide kids with fun, excitement, and lots of physical activity, both with and without the ball. However, practice must also be appropriate to the state of children's abilities and development. For very young children, this means that general movement training with and without the ball is an extremely important part of practice and play. Children need to be introduced to the fascination of soccer in an age-appropriate way. Little kids are not wizards with the ball. They need time to get used to it first. Therefore, every play session for very young children should focus on soccer-oriented play with the ball in small groups. Every second of practice, play and coaching must be completely geared toward children's interests, desires, and ability level. That means that children's soccer is completely different from competitive adult soccer. Let's take a look at how the DFB trains the talented young players on its national youth team. The training program is clearly oriented toward players' individual ability levels. The object is top performance in terms of technique, tactics, and condition. Practice and play are based on a modern approach to the game. Ball-oriented defense with its focus on outnumbering the player with the ball is an important feature. In competitive soccer, of course, practice must also take the demands of match play into account. After all, an effective talent promotion program should guarantee competitive success. A major part of talent promotion is improving individual performance, as in the special goalkeeper training shown here. Focused training of group and team tactics also helps to lay the groundwork for team success, of course. For the clubs of the German Soccer Federation, the fundamental objective of youth soccer talent promotion is to improve performance in a systematic, long-term way. Unfortunately, all too often, objectives and activities from competitive soccer are simply transferred onto children's soccer. As a result, children are trained and pressured to win in a way that's only appropriate for adults. In children's soccer, the primary focus should be to provide fun and excitement. Kids need to be introduced to the fascination of soccer at an age-appropriate way. Now is the time to build the foundation for what will hopefully be a lifelong involvement with sports. Kids also need a wide variety of basic movement training. That way, play sessions should consist of not just soccer, but also a variety of different physical activities. Rolling, jumping, balancing, races, and relays can all be a part of that. For children, it's not just the training that's completely different from competitive adult soccer, it's the game itself. Team rankings and championships, for example, have no place in the game at this age. At this age, the focus should clearly be on each individual child's experience of the game. The object is to have fun and enjoy playing soccer without interference. At play days, everyone wins.
The type of play day where every child goes home a winner has proven to be very successful. These events are the high point of the season for kids, parents, coaches, and spectators. Once again, let's review the most important differences between children's soccer on the one hand and competitive adult soccer on the other. Experience-oriented play and practice instead of performance and score-oriented training. Free play without interference instead of modern tactics training. A general introduction to the game of soccer instead of match-oriented training. And winning kids over to soccer through fun and enjoyment instead of systematic long-term performance development. Children's soccer also has a role to play in children's education. Personal growth and giving everyone a chance to play are some of the most important objectives in this regard. Tschüss.